Kabir sleeping in a bed somewhere. The first thing he does after he wakes up is to start drinking. He is never sober and consumes alcohol day and night. He finally goes to a woman's house to hook up but her fiancé comes in. The girl tells Kabir to go but he threatens her to hook up. He finally leaves angrily when the girl doesn't budge. He calls numerous other girls to hook up but doesn't get any positive response. His friend yells at him saying this isn't a good way to cope with losing the love of his life. He doesn't care and has no way out. He shoves a handful of ice in his pants to control his situation. He goes back to his apartment and feeds his dog, Preeti. He is a very short-tempered man. Kabir, who's a surgeon, goes to work and starts drinking again. All the nurses and his colleagues think he's crazy and is scared of him. Despite his drinking problem, he's an excellent surgeon. The nurses handle everything else and due to this, he has never had unsuccessful surgery. At home, he thinks of the past when he was just a resident. He was the most popular guy and the topper of his med school. We see a football match going on. In the midst of the match, Kabir and the other team's captain get into a huge argument because one of Kabir's friends gets injured at the match deliberately. The opposite team cheats a lot and commits many fouls. Kabir has major anger issues and has anger bursts from time to time. Despite all this, Kabir's team wins. Kabir mocks the other team which turns into a huge fight. Kabir fully beats up the referee as well as Amir, the opposite team's captain. Both their teams start brawling. Kabir's friend tries to stop him but to no avail. He even threatens the professors for taking away his trophy. The dean calls Kabir for a meeting for his outburst. Kabir is called into a class with students who just got into med school. The dean introduces him as the best resident surgeon and calls him an impeccable doctor but also calls him a murderer for his anger. He berates Kabir in front of the whole class. His friends try to defend him but they are reprimanded too. The dean asks Kabir to submit a written apology or else he'd be expelled. Kabir doesn't care and decides to get expelled instead because he doesn't doesn't want to apologize and has no regrets for what he did. He doesn't care about his future either. He's about to leave the college but is told to wait a while for the dean's signature needed. While he's waiting, he sees a beautiful girl walking away. He is instantly captivated by her. He decides to stay at the college just for her and submits the written apology. He goes into the junior student's class and threatens all the boys there saying the girl he saw was his and there would be severe consequences if a boy even laid eyes on her. Kabir's friends go to the girl's class and ask for the girl's name. She replies that her name is Preeti. All of Kabir's friends are entranced by her beauty and applaud Kabir's choice. Just then, Kabir gets a call from his father saying one of this employee's daughter has just enrolled in the same college as Kabir. His father asks Kabir to take good care of her and Kabir agrees. Turns out, the girl is none other than Preeti herself. Preeti's father dislikes Kabir from the moment he lays eyes on him because of his anger and smoking habits, but still urges Kabir to take care of her. Kabir happily agrees to this request. No one dares talk to Preeti or bully her. Everyone is scared to walk by her because of Kabir. One time when Preeti is hanging out with her friends, Kabir calls her and starts talking to her. He's very gentle with her unlike his usual behavior. He kisses her on the cheek and Preeti is shocked but doesn't say anything. All her friends giggle but Kabir's friends are worried about him getting so attached. Kabir starts getting closer and closer to Preeti. He makes sure she always sits at the front and even decides who she sits with and asks Preeti to befriend another girl. He takes Preeti out and tutors her himself. He makes sure her grades are always good. Even after all this, he makes sure she isn't uncomfortable and respects her privacy around him. None of the students dare make fun of her because of this. She is known everywhere as Kabir's girl. Preeti also starts falling for him. He sleeps in her lap and she studies at night. Eventually, holy, the festival of colors comes around. In this festival, people put colors on each other and celebrate with music and dance. Kabir pledges to be the first one to put colors on Preeti and makes sure no one dares to go near her. But soon he gets a call saying someone touched Preeti. Kabir goes ballistic as he hears that and the whole college goes cold. He angrily goes to the girl's hostel. He sees Preeti crying as she's covered with colors. He wipes her tears and asks her to shower as he waits outside. He asks two boys what happened and finds out that Amir, his opponent from the football match and his gang forcefully put colors on Preeti. He is shaking with anger as he realizes Preeti is traumatized because of their forceful behavior. He takes Preeti and carries a bat as he goes to confront Amit. He almost kills Amit out of anger. His friends stop him before he can do anything he'll regret. Amit's face is covered with blood. He explains to Amit that he really loves Preeti and he'll go to any depths for her. Preeti sobs as she witnesses the scene before her. Amit promises Kabir that he'll never touch Preeti again. Preeti is completely head over heels for Kabir now. At present, Kabir is back in his apartment with his best friend, Shiva. Shiva tells Kabir to control himself as he's almost psychotic. Just then, Kabir's maid drops a mug and breaks it. Kabir yells at her and chases her out of the house. The maid runs away scared for her life. Shiva tries his best to get Kabir's life back in control but can't. In another flashback, Preeti gets injured as a glass shard gets lodged in her feet. Kabir treats her injuries and decides that Preeti isn't safe on her own. 
he shifts her to the boy's hostel from the girl's hostel to take care of her and her injuries. Slowly but surely, their romance takes off. As Kabir is teaching her, she grabs his hand and kisses him as a sign that she loves him too. They make love and have a great time together. They start living together in the hostel. Even after this, Kabir is extremely possessive and jealous about Preeti. Kabir gets backlash and lots of rumors spread around due to Preeti staying with Kabir in the boy's hostel. So Kabir and all his friends decide to rent a house to stay instead. Finally, Kabir graduates and Preeti is devastated. She's really upset that Kabir is leaving. As Kabir is leaving, Preeti tells him she wants to stay for two more days to run some errands but Kabir doesn't agree. He replies that he's bad with goodbyes and can't afford to let Preeti stay alone. At night, they all set up a bonfire and reminisce about their time spent together. Preeti insists that she wants to stay but Kabir doesn't listen. Preeti is upset she can't stay and asks Kabir again but he yells at her. She slaps him lightly and cries as he tells her. Kabir apologizes and soon moves to another state to continue his study. Preeti is really upset to be away from Kabir. Preeti can't stay alone any longer and visits Kabir but he isn't too happy to see her there. She hugs him and he assures her that they'd have to manage their long-distance relationship now. Preeti continues hugging him but Kabir pulls her apart, saying his college is very orthodox but Preeti gets upset. She asks him to kiss her right in front of all the others. Weeks pass and years pass as Kabir and Preeti complete their studies. They visit each other time and again. Soon, Kabir's brother's wedding comes along. Preeti has completed her studies and Kabir comes to visit her at her house. Preeti introduces Kabir to her family members as a friend. He wants permission to take Preeti to his brother's wedding. Preeti's mother asks Kabir to wait as Preeti's father is not at home. The two of them wait at the terrace and kiss. But just then, her father arrives and is enraged to see his daughter kiss Kabir. Preeti's father slaps him and kicks him out of his house. Preeti begs him to stop. Kabir vehemently tells Preeti to talk to her father about their relationship but Preeti is stuck between choosing Kabir or her family. Kabir confesses his love for Preeti to his father and tells him what really happened. Kabir's father doesn't understand and he goes to his grandma for help. His grandma urges him to fight for his love and go talk to Preeti's family again. On the other hand, Kabir's brother also talks to his father about Kabir and Preeti's love. Just then, Preeti comes to visit Kabir. Kabir's grandmother asks them to sort out their problems. Preeti persuades Kabir to not be angry anymore and they make up. Kabir comes back to talk to Preeti's family, but his father doesn't listen to a word he says. Preeti tries to defend Kabir but her father yells at the both of them calling them shameless. He doesn't agree to their relationship at all and fixes Preeti's marriage with someone else. This angers Kabir even more and he yells back. The man betrothed to Preeti tries to threaten Kabir. Kabir calls them brainless and breaks up with Preeti right then and there and leaves. Preeti runs up behind him. Preeti tries to calm Kabir down but she starts insulting her parents. When Preeti's sister tries to stop him, he almost throws a vase at her. He kisses her in the middle of her whole neighborhood to show who she belongs to. She tries to talk to him but he gets angrier and throws insults at everyone. Preeti gets offended as Kabir swears at her father but he doesn't care. He gives her six hours to decide her fate. As Preeti tries to persuade him, he curses her to get married to her father's choice and tells her to call him only if her father agrees to their relationship else they're over. Preeti hugs him tightly as Kabir leaves. He asks her to leave and tells her that she has no other identity than being his girlfriend. Preeti is hurt by this but doesn't say a word. He slaps her and goes away saying she only has six hours left. He goes back home and gets drunk. At home, Preeti's sister snitches on her to her parents. Preeti gets angry and tells her to even read the messages she's sent to Kabir as they're more exciting. She admits she loves Kabir and she's made love to him numerous times. Her mother slaps her for saying such things but Preeti is adamant on marrying Kabir. He keeps on drinking and finally overdoses on drugs. Just then, Preeti comes looking for Kabir. Kabir's brother asks Preeti what's wrong but her uncle drags her away before she say can anything more. Kabir is unconscious by this time. He wakes up two days later after a close save. Preeti is getting married that very day and Shiva is worried how Kabir might act. Kabir's brother gets married but Kabir is still unconscious. His father is disappointed in him. Everyone is shocked and worried that Preeti is getting married. Kabir finally wakes up but it's already too late. Shiva finally tells Kabir that Preeti's has already gotten married. It's like his whole world crumbles. Shiva tries to stop him but Kabir doesn't listen. He runs to her house as fast as he can. Shiva never leaves his side as all this happens. He barges into Preeti's wedding as asks her to get up. But Preeti has already lost hope and doesn't budge. She just accepts her fate. Preeti's relatives beat up Kabir and Shiva tries his hardest to stop them. Finally, he drags Kabir away. Shiva tries to console Kabir but he's adamant on winning Preeti back. He goes to her house again and wreaks havoc. Preeti's family calls the cops and Kabir and Shiva get arrested. Kabir's brother comes and bails them out. His mother cries as she her son's condition. Kabir's brother tries to mediate the situation but his father kicks him out. Kabir gets disowned due to all this and putting completely defaming them in front of the community. Kabir stays at Shiva's place and Shiva consoles him. Kabir gets a job but he's lost. 
He has lost his sense of belonging and feels like he has no purpose in life. His mind is clouded by Preeti and her memories. This causes him to drink and smoke uncontrollably. He tells Shiva how it's unfair that Preeti's family divided them and they never got to live their love story. He even yells at his patients but realizes his mistake and apologizes instantly. His anger issues are off the charts. Kabir gets mad at Shiva all the time and Shiva is tired but never gives up. He is Kabir's biggest pillar and a true friend. Months pass but Kabir's drinking problem just gets worse. Nothing distracts him anymore. One day, a famous actress comes to Kabir for a checkup. The actress, Gia, is impressed because everyone else treats her like some royalty, but Kabir doesn't care about her status at all. Gia starts falling for Kabir. On the other hand, Kabir's brother is worried to see his condition. They get into an argument and fight but make up later. Kabir's brother leaves as he realizes that Kabir isn't returning home anytime soon. Gia and Kabir get closer and closer but Kabir informs her beforehand that all he wants is pleasure with no feelings involved. Gia agrees thinking things might change. Gia is intrigued by Kabir and falls for him. They go out and Kabir always meets with her at the hospital and her shoots. But his anger issues still scare her a lot. Shiva observes all this and tells Kabir to get married to Gia. As they're about to hook up, Gia admits that she loves him. Kabir immediately gets out of her car and dumps her saying he isn't interested in love. Gia tries her hardest to calm him down. But Kabir says he's done and walks away leaving Gia heartbroken. One morning, when Kabir is fully drunk, he gets a call from one of the nurses saying he is needed urgently for a surgery. Kabir informs her it's his off day but the nurse insists saying it's an emergency. Kabir exclaims he isn't in the condition to operate but since it's a life and death case, he agrees. At the surgery, he's so weak and hungover that he cannot work at all. He gives all the instructions to his nurses who perform the surgery. The surgery is successful but the hospital finds out about this as Kabir gets hospitalized. Kabir's body is almost damaged. His mother is worried sick about him but Kabir doesn't care. Protests start against Kabir for performing a surgery under such conditions. Kabir's family and former dean defend him but a court case gets filed. Kabir quits drinking and tries to focus on his dwindling career. Kabir's brother, Karen, asks him to lie in court and he'll handle the rest by bribing the patients. After hearing Karen's plan, Kabir starts drinking again and passes out because his body cannot handle it anymore. It's the day of the trial and Kabir is unconscious. Shiva makes Kabir snort some to bring him back to his senses and begs Kabir to go along with Karen's plan. Kabir agrees but he admits he was drunk and on on the day of the surgery as well so the judge seizes his license for five years. He starts drinking even more. He doesn't have a job anymore either and is kicked out of his apartment. Shiva even asks Kabir if he wants to marry his sister. Kabir is touched by Shiva's love and loyalty. Kabir goes around looking for shelter with his dog when Shiva informs him his grandma had passed away. Kabir's world goes crumbling again as his grandma was the only one who truly loved and understood him. Kabir's father is devastated so Kabir consoles him. At this point, Kabir's father forgives him and Kabir realizes what he's doing. He returns back to his house and his family welcomes him with open arms. He quits all his bad habits and decides to give his life a fresh start. Kabir's father urges him to go for a vacation and Kabir agrees. He goes around for vacations and that's when he sees Preeti again. She's at a park and is pregnant. Kabir gets a reality check as he sees this. He wants to talk to her but decides against it. She looks very upset but Kabir walks away nonetheless. He gets better and better every day until one day when his friend, Kamal, invites him for his wedding. He tells Kamal and Shiva about Preeti and finally decides he'll ask her to come to him again. His friends tell him not to do that but he decides he'll talk to Preeti. He promises Kamal he'll attend his wedding with Preeti. The very next day, Kabir goes to the same park where he saw Preeti. Shiva accompanies him. He calls out to Preeti but she ignores him. He insists he wants to talk to her but Preeti tells him to go away. Kabir tries to talk to her but Preeti yells at him asking why he didn't come to her before her wedding. Kabir doesn't say a word and that's when Shiva pitches and explains the whole situation and Kabir's condition to her. Kabir further adds that he doesn't care she's pregnant. He promises her that he'll handle everything and love the child like his own because after all, the child is Preeti's flesh and blood. He tells her he'll fight her whole family if it means that she'll come to him. She finally confesses that he left her husband just three days after her wedding, and the child is none other than Kabir's. Kabir is ecstatic to hear this. She adds that she wanted to come to him so many times but didn't because of all the news circulation around him and his brief relationship with Gia. She tells him that she lives alone and has no one. All her neighbors pitied her and took care of her. She urges him to marry her right then and there. Kabir thanked all her people who took care of her and hugged them. He took Preeti and married her that instant. He took her to his house and his family relishes when they see her. They rejoice to see Preeti's pregnant with their child. Preeti's family comes to visit her as well and her father apologizes profusely to them for separating them. As they say, all's well that ends well. In the end, love one. Kabir and Preeti stay together forever after all the pain they endured. Like and subscribe and recaps for more love stories like this. Have a great day.